Pickles, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new. Um, today, as you can see, I'm fully festive. I've got my tree up in the background. I've got my elf top on. I've got my ho 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 ears on. Today I'm trying British Christmas snacks. So I thought it'd be really fun for people that don't live in the UK to see what we have here. So it's literally all just Christmas stuff. None of it's not Christmassy. Some of it's new, some of it's stuff we have every year. And it's only some of it because we get so much stuff in the shop. So it's literally some of the stuff we get here. It's all from Tesco's. <laughs> we love that. Okay, first up, which I think is very British. Like, I used to get this every year in my stocking. Like, I won't invite you. And I don't know, I'm not going to try every single thing in here because it's literally just Cadbury's bars we have all year round. But I will try my favourite one out of it. Can you tell me your favourite out of these? So you get Curly Whirly, you get a Fudge, you get... Uh, Freddo, a chomp, and buttons, and it's only a pound for this. And I used to, like you get them for like little kids, or like you used to get me stuck when you was younger. I swear the packaging hasn't changed for years. Okay, maybe the like guy has on the front, I don't know, but this is basically it. So that's the first thing we're gonna try. So let me open it, and we'll try a fudge because fudge is literally one of my favourite chocolates. So I don't know if you're from the. I don't know if you have these in other countries. I don't feel like you do. I don't know. Fudge is basically a fudge. <laughs> Let me try. I know what a fudge tastes like. I don't know why I'm even trying it. Mm. <laughs> it's good. It's good every year. <laughs> it's good every week. I think a finger of fudge is like 20p. I don't think I've ever seen like a full size fudge bar. It was like fingers of fudge. This is a solid 10 out of 10 for me because I just love a bar of fudge. Like, a bar of fudge is just the, one of the best snacks. Like, one of the best chocolate bars, I think. Next, I have a Maltesers reindeer in mint. Mint Maltesers reindeer. Do you have Maltesers in other countries? I feel like they're called something else. I feel like Maltesers are called something else in other countries. Please let me know what it's called, because I'd love to know. But this is a mint one. I've not had a mint one before. I've had a normal one. These reindeers are always so good, like, every year. Okay. It doesn't smell that good. <laughs> I won't lie. I'm sure I like it though, because it's just mint chocolate, right? Mm. It's good. Mm. It's not my favourite thing. I'm putting these all back in the fridge, like they're gonna all be like half bitten, like my brother's gonna go try it and be like, oh, you've eaten it. I like the plain one more. I do like the mint flavour, but I don't know if it suits this. I don't feel like it suits being mint. So I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. It's not my favourite. I probably wouldn't be even rushed to buy it again. But, you know, it was quite nice. It was all right. Okay, I haven't seen these before and they're not like a traditional British snack because, well, I've no, I'm not seen these before, but I saw them in Tesco's and I was like, they're Christmassy. I'm picking them up. I'm going to try them. So these are cinnamon crunch pretzels. These are just cinnamon pretzels. Like, I won't lie to you. Pretzels are obviously American. No, all don't. I don't know, actually. I feel like a pretzel is like, is, no, is it German? I literally don't know, but these look nice. They're cinnamon flavour from Tesco's. So... Let's give them a try. Whoa. That smells like a pumpkin spice latte. I was about to go like that, but um, you guys can smell. The shape's like little stars. I can go. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. No. These aren't a bit mean. It tastes like they're trying to be a gingerbread man, but they just haven't made it yet. Do you know what I mean? No. Oh, I rate them. Two out of ten. These are a two out of ten. I'm just gonna put them in the cupboard. They'll still be there in January. They'll still be there in January. Watch. No one's gonna eat these. I have a Kit Kat, which is a Kit Kat snowman. No, it's a Santa. It's a Kit Kat Santa. I haven't had one of these before. I'm pretty sure I haven't had one of these. I like the Maltese Rangers that aren't mint, so I normally get them. I haven't had one of these before, so let me try it. It's cute though. Oh my god, I should probably show you the inside of it, right? Balance it like that. Little Santa. Um, it's probably gonna melt all over my hands now. All right, let's give it a go. Mmm. I like Kit Kat. I was expecting more of a crunch. Like, on the inside, it's like truffle -y. I mean, you have another bite because I only had his hat, so. This is solid. The more I'm biting into it, there's a bit of a crunch there. I like it. I could probably eat this whole thing. I'm not going to because I want to eat the rest of the stuff in the bag. It has got that like, Kit Kat-y taste. Do you know Kit Kats have the wafer stuff like a certain taste that you can tell it's a Kit Kat? You can tell this is a Kit Kat. Like, if I was blinded. Blinded. <laughs> if I was like, what well, them things called? If I was blindfolded, I'd be able to tell this is Kit Kat. Like, I won't ask you, this is pretty good. I'd rate the Kit Kat 
8 out of 10. That Kit Kat Santa Man, 8 out of 10. Go get that. I've just realised, like, all of this is chocolate. But I guess in the UK, we just really love our chocolate more than our candy. Let me know in your country, like, what's your main Christmassy thing? I think our Christmassy thing is chocolate. Like, Christmas chocolates and stuff. I don't know. We don't have much candy. So I've just picked up these, which is a Reese's peanut butter disco. No, DJ Santa disco lights. I mean, they just look like peanut butter cups, to be honest. I think the the marketing guys just had fun like decorating the packet and putting Santa on it just to make sure people buy it at Christmas. <laughs> but you know, I'm a marketing man's dream, so whatever. After I got home, I was like, oh, these aren't British, but I'm just gonna try them anyway. I have got one thing that's not British in here as well. So if you're American, then like, you know what these taste like already. Um, I like these, but I do feel like they taste different in the UK. Let me know, guys, if you also think they taste different in the UK. So just like mini Reese's cups, you know, gold. They're just gold um, foil around them. I feel like the best Reese's are just like normal Reese's cups because they've got like perfect consistency. So let me see what these are like. Mm, I'm not a fan of the chocolate on it. I like the stuff in, like the inside. Stuff in, very Christmassy. <laughs> I'm going to eat it all though. As I said, it's just not as good as the normal cup can't beat a normal cup i'm gonna give that one a six out of ten it's, it's, it's all right i've got a terry's chocolate orange i couldn't find a milk chocolate one in the shop so i've got a white chocolate one which i haven't had before i love white chocolate i love terry's chocolate orange so i'm sure this can be right but if you are aren't from the uk and you haven't had these before then you normally get the milk chocolate one like the milk chocolate is standard oh the milk chocolate's the standard one you get over here but i think the white one looks good so i'm gonna try it so this is the box, so it comes like this, Terry's chocolate orange, and obviously this is white one, but normally I think it's blue. I think the packaging is like light blue, and then the dark one's either dark blue or red, I think. I can't remember. And inside, this is going to be so good. You get orange, okay? I don't know if you get these in your country. Let me know. I don't know if they're just for the UK. I feel like they're British. I feel like Terry's chocolate orange are British, but I don't know. And it's made with like real orange oil. So Oh, I love Terry. I love Terry chocolate orange. I'm so excited to try the white one actually. We always get these normally, like in our stockings from Santa or on Christmas Eve, in our Christmas Eve boxes. So you peel off the sticker on top and then you open it up. And it, oh my god, it's smashed already. You can see now, there we go. So this is how it looks normally. And then normally you have to like smash it on something to get it like to all crack. But I've just opened it and it's all cracked already. Let me try the white chocolate orange. I can tell it's going to be a hit. Get it. Go <laughs> get it. Wow. 10 out of 10. Seriously. Why have I never got the white one before? I can imagine this being really nice in a hot chocolate. Like melt it down into milk. I might have to do that tomorrow maybe. No. The fudge and this. Top tier at the moment. The core. The core of it is always good. I don't know why. I picked this up in Tesco's because I saw it and I thought, oh, this looks cute. And it's chocolate orange. So, like, let's try it. It's chocolate orange. We just have the chocolate orange thing. This is chocolate orange popcorn. Um, this smells good. I feel like I could get behind this. I feel like I definitely could get behind the chocolate orange popcorn. Did I focus? There we go. Let's see what it's like. I hope it's good. I feel like it might be nice. Oh. It's alright. Mm. I'm like waiting for the orange to hit me. Let me have another bit. This is like more coated. Mm. There's a bit of orange. There's not really much orange. And there's not much chocolate. I'm just getting like a sweet kind of toffee. There's a little bit of orange, like a tad. Not as described. It's not chocolate orange popcorn. Well, it is. It's like very subtle. I like strong flavours. This isn't it. If you don't like much of a strong flavour, you'll like this. It's cute to nibble on, cute for a Christmassy movie. But I just like butter kiss popcorn, you know. I'd probably just buy that, to be honest. I would be, again, I would be rushing out for this. This is all right. But I don't know. Mm, I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10. Like, it's nor here, nor there. Nor here, nor there. I feel like it must be a theme in every country, the orange flavour, because now I've got another one. Festive Aero Orange. I've not had the Aero Orange. I've had the Aero Mint. I love the Aero Mint. But I've not had the Aero Orange. If you haven't got Aero in your country, 
I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> it looks like that. Am I gonna fully buy it like this for the video? I feel like why not? This is bad. <laughs> it's, I'm gonna do it. The Aero Orange. I don't know. It's orange flavour. Like it is nice, but it's not like. I've, I've seen it before. It's not nothing exciting for me. No, no, no. I think the memory card's about to run out. Right, so I'm not sure if you heard me there. My memory card ran out and I changed the memory card, but I didn't press record again. So sorry about that. Anyway, I did quite like the Aero Bar. I did finish it the next day. I'll give it a solid 6 out of 10. It was pretty nice. I do prefer the Mint, as I said before. Um, but I won't do this again, guys. I'm really sorry. <laughs> did enjoy this video make sure you subscribe leave a like down below and drop a comment let me know what you guys eat in your country at this time of year what's your favorite snack christmas chocolate or whatever thank you so much for watching bye